in the lives of public and students at home. So, as a way to commemorate this very present, we have gathered here tonight to have an educative yet interesting program. So, we would call on the college chaplain, that Reverend Father Emmanuel Lofine, to give us the opening prayer. Are you right? We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the life and ministry of St. Thomas, our parents. We thank you for giving us the privilege of being students. Today, as we commemorate him, we gather in pursuit and in search of knowledge just as he did. May our deliberation this evening lead us to discover you the true God and the source of knowledge and to discover our neighbor who we created the whole image and likeness. May this evening inspire in us a sense of love for one another and a sense of community. And as always, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. and further to have his 
masters in teaching. He is happily married with children. He is currently the performing arts lecturer and the music master at Foundation. And a round of applause shall we welcome Mr. Emmanuel Kellett. Noise is expected while debating. 
speakers are speaking. When you do that, you prevent us from listening to them and we cannot judge them fairly. However, you have the chance to applaud them when they have finished with their submission. Again, the audience will be given the chance to express themselves on the motion. So, it will come to your turn, you raise your hand, you will give as many as would raise their hands to also contribute to the motion. However, yours is on a non scoring basis. The motion before the House this evening, Mr. Chairman, is students' participation in manual work on campus is an affront to the tertiary status of colleges of education in Ghana. And here is the case we have the JHS and the early grades students standing for the motion and the primary education group speaking against the motion. Contestant, we wish you well and we know you will make this place very electrifying and lively. The chairperson, indomitable panel of judges, a great timekeeper, distinguished guests, co debaters, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I deem it much of that to stand before the house on the bone of contention that has brought the whole house to an immediate assembly to debate on the motion, quote and unquote. Student participation in manual work on campus is an affront to the tertiary status of colleges of education in Ghana. And I, Mercy Asantua, and I students from the languages department, both will find stand for the motion before the house. The chairperson, to set the ball rolling, I would like to elaborate certain keywords that are used in the motion to help my supporting speakers and I address our point. And to the benefit of my highly esteemed audience, and they include affront, manual work, and cashier. From Wikipedia, free encyclopedia, it is stated that affront means an outrage or an offense. Simple machines may cause harm to 
the body. Harm can be caused on any other given day unintentionally. unintentionally. And harm from manual work is no exception. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. The more we use a machine, the more we get used to it. Mr. Chairman, manual work when done improves our health, well-being, and basic cognitive functions. There is a very strong evidence that when we participate in manual work, it reduces obesity. Most people who have the qualities of education may be fat, but as they go home, because they engage in this manual work, they reduce in their science.
boy is an upfront to tertiary, um, sorry, training colleges in Ghana here. Um, during the debate, our opponent said that it causes injuries, but I, but I don't see how this causes injuries if proportions are made. If the right proportions are made during these activities. I appreciate the argument pulls on board and the way they were able to speak out give explanations and supported the appointment. I think they've all done very well. However, you can't have it all. There might be a few things you have to point out. One, if you, um, you are presenting a debate, you expect your audience and listeners to hear what you are talking about. Hey, you raise very specific points. You expect them to stand firmly and support your point with evidence on the ground. And um, one of you was saying, what you see is what you believe. True. So if you agree on that, then you have examples you can give us around here on the points you are raising. We don't just stop, raise the point, and quickly go for another one. You can talk about them, but if you don't explain them, they are part of everything. Even if you have this and others, you need to ask if you support the point better. Good evening. As a new person, I was thinking that you would give some background information on manual work for a college of education. But you just talked about African American. Everybody is going to know how to do in the college. And that is where I had something called COT. Understanding what's going to be Before we started this, I heard that their program is streaming online. So others will be listening to us who are not part of us. So I think some background information would have helped. But in all, I want to thank uh, Father Dovine and the uh, Chaplain C for organizing such a wonderful program. But as the program was uh, moving on, I was trying to remember the last time we had a program like this. And I couldn't remember the last time we had a program like this. Honestly, I couldn't remember. You can imagine. That is why I'm so happy and I'm so thankful to Father for promoting this program. But what Father has done for us is so much. So Father, thank you very much for what you have done for us and the challenge you have given us a challenge now. As the Chaplain's board has done this, I want to throw the challenge to the other bodies like the Entertainment Committee and others. Now you should also take it up. Entertainment, you see, most of you students think entertainment is about dancing, dancing and dancing and dancing. And so when it comes to the voting for the entertainment movement, you want to vote on the one who can dance and dance very well. But all the are parts of the tent. The tent. Yeah. Again, again, I, you see, I'm not giving up a lot of dance. I want to recognize the, the, the input of some wonderful people. Now, if you look at the giants, the, the beautiful uh, women and the handsome gentleman there, they are all from the English language department. Shall we clap for them? And let me tell you, Holy Child English language department is one of the best, best women in the world.
Now, to the students who offer themselves, I'm talking about the debaters. You are so amazing. So, our contestants did very well. They raised a series of issues. Those people again said that student participation manual work on campus is an affront to the tertiary status of quality of education because, well, it may increase our bills. It doesn't impact, he said, it doesn't impact on the health of students. They said that it's a way of molding and building character and attitude. They also added that it positions the, the teacher trainee to be a better role model for her student. He said that it improves fitness and he said it prevents diseases and makes us more responsible. Thank you. 